course, you want to start out with a clean face. I just prime my lips so they're ready for eyeshadow. I'm going to start defining my crease by using a medium brown shade and blending that out. Going in a little bit darker on a smaller blending brush. In this video you will see a lot of blending and I usually switch up between brushes to make sure everything is nice and blended and there are no harsh lines. Putting down a matte black shade all over the lid. And guess what? We are blending that out. a pair of false lashes. These are Iconic Light by House of Lashes. I'm changing it up and going in with concealer first so we can start working on the lower lash line without worrying about that dark fallout ruining our face makeup. On a flat definer brush, I'm going to start lining my lower lash line. Then on a small fluffy blending brush, I'm going to blend that out as well as gradually adding more black shadow and dragging it downwards. You want to start connecting the outer corners as well. Going back in with that larger blending brush using a dark brown color to diffuse the edges. Use a face primer of your choice and add a light layer of foundation. Going over top using a bright white shade from my face makeup palette. I'm then using a translucent powder to set my entire face. I sing a lot while doing my makeup, sorry about that. Switching up between the definer brush and the small blending brush, I'm going to start creating those bushy, almost horn-like eyebrows.
using a dark brown eyeshadow, we're going to create a really dramatic contour. Deepening that up by using a smaller brush and also adding a little bit of a deeper color. Going in with a gel liner to start outlining the nose and then filling that in. I'm just going to add a black liner to my upper and lower waterline. I know, I know, a super attractive look. And now to the fun part, going back in using that white color to outline and overdraw my lips. You guys see me looking back and forth a lot and that's because I always keep a photo handy of the look I'm trying to recreate. With a thin liner brush, I'm dipping back into the black gel liner to start creating the teeth. It's actually a lot easier than I expected it to be, so don't get discouraged by this step. And to finish off, I'm adding a little to the inside of my lips to create more of a gap. I decided to sharpen up my contour by going in with a darker color to make it even more dramatic. What do you guys think? <laughs>